Hello everyone and welcome back to Mount Moon TCG. Today's episode we're taking a look at the 2014 World Championship format. This episode we have Emerald King, the Masters Champion, and we have uh, Black Black Kiram, you know Blastoise Keldeo, a uh, list that made day two, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So here are the rules from that era, the 2014 World Championship format, right there. So we have myself on the left and Chris on the right. Yeah, and I'm going first. And I start off playing a Skyla. Search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. And I'm going to grab a level ball for a Squirtle because I need that to, you know, attach energy and do stuff. You're the main part of the deck. And then I didn't have any energy to attach for turn, so I just passed. That's not good. Well, not that I didn't have any energy. I didn't have any water. Uh, any energy that it wanted to attach because the water energy is if I have deluge out, I can just attach as many as I want. Right. That's fair. So I attach the energy to the Verizian and then I'm going to play Colrus Machine, which is search your deck for a plasma energy card and attach it to one of your team plasma Pokemon. And you can delve into team plasma Pokemon because it'll kind of say on the card team plasma kind of. It's got the blue border. Yeah. yeah, they got the blue border. They got the badge kind of on the bottom where mm -hmm. the attacks or the description of the card says. Yeah. So I'm going to attach that to the Genesect. Because Verizian, unfortunately, is not a Team Plasma Pokemon. Well, you could play the Jewel Card Team Plasma badge and then make it a Team Plasma Pokemon, no? You know, actually, when I first played Verizian Genesect a long time ago, I did play Team Plasma badge. Because uh -huh. that was just so much fun. I can attack turn one. What is this? All right, so I drew the Blastoise for turn. I don't have rare candy in my hand. But I'm going to play a heavy ball, search it up for a Pokemon with three true costs of three or more. Reveal it and put it in your hand. Shuffle the deck afterward. And then my Blastoise, or my, yeah, the Blastoise, the Black Curum. Those all have three or more. So I'm going to grab the Black Curum, which uh, the second attack is all that really matters. 200 damage, discard three energy, attach to this Pokemon, and it's. Usually what you want to do is one lightning and three waters, and then just reattach the waters with the blasters to the next turn. Right. Yep, the 200 damage, you're knocking out any card in the format, basically. Mm -hmm. I sky enough for an Ultra Ball and not a rare candy. Because I don't have a supporter for next turn. Hmm. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball, discarding a water and like, an explosion or something like that. Was. Yeah, it's a little hard to see, <clears throat> we do apologize, but. To grab an electrode with the ability to magnetic draw. Once during a turn, before you're attacking me, you draw cards until you have four in hand. And I'm just hoping to get the perfect two cards off of this. I can attach one energy. Right. And draw three. Well, you can't though because you want to. Yeah, that's fine. I can always attack with Kelio. I mean, that's true too. Draw superior. War Turtle works. Yeah, it's that not. That gives me the Blastoise next turn. It does. Oop. And then you're mad. Stop throwing stuff. Yes. There's another Genesect attached to Verizian. Okay. Because Verizian does 50, and then I search my deck for two um, energy, two grass energy cards, and yeah. attach them to one of my bench Pokemon. And yeah, I'm going to attach them to the Genesect and get that fully powered up. Yeah, Caldeo is weak to the grass, of course. But. Uh... Yeah, of course. The Black Curum is. isn't. Yeah, the Blastoise is weak to grass as well. Also, the Verizian has the ability for it when that each of your grass Pokemon with each of your Pokemon with grass energy attached to them cannot be affected by special conditions. If they are, remove them. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I drew the lightning energy that I needed. Uh, get the Blastoise. Do I have any water energy in my discard pile? I think if I do. Oh. Don't do that yet. Hold on, you got one in the discard pile, but attach their retreat. Yep. And then when to draw up, I can superior energy retrieval for three waters. Oh, well, there's my rare candy. Yeah, a little late on that. So one. Yep, I do have one water in there. Yep. Two or three cost. Mm -hmm. Energy retrieval and just like, yeah, rare candy blast waves because apparently squirtles don't exist in this deck. 
Yeah, that's fine. And I'm gonna get rid of the threat. Just bring up this Genesect. I mean, that's fair. And then Black Ballista for 200 damage. Take two pressure. Yeah, that's a big ouch. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the Plasma Energy on the Genesect DX. Use the ability Red Signal when I attach a Plasma Energy from my hand to the Pokemon, it acts as a Lysander. Yep. So I'm gonna bring up the Keldeo, knock it out this turn with the Verizian, because like we said, it is weak to grass. Yep. So Ultra Ball for another Genesect. Because literally all you play are Genesects and Verizians. Like one Mr. Mind. Yes. Something like that. It's this list, right, that played the Mr. Mime? Yeah, yeah. it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, the Genesect DX has Megalo Cannon, does 100 damage, and does 20 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. But that's not real attack. It's no, bad. I mean, it does two-shot <laughs> everything. Uh -huh. So now we're going to Sycamore, discard your hand, draw seven. Not terrible. But I am going to Super Rod. Yeah. Shuff just... Your shuffling combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards. Let me just go pile back into your deck. Yeah, make sure you have two grass energies to attach with the Verizian this turn. Yep. And you don't really need another Genesect or anything, so. Right. To save this thing. Yep. So I didn't shuffle because I'm attaching two right away, but the third one's getting shuffled in. Mm -hmm. And I got a superior energy retrieval off of my prizes, which is pretty lucky. That is pretty good. Let's see what I drew off at the top. So don't really need another squirtle at this point. Hmm. Yeah, you can banish the squirtle. Yeah. And then magnetic draw for two. Yeah. Oh, you get Dowsing Machine, though. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to discard the Ultra Ball. Yeah, you have to discard the Ultra Ball and the Energy, but you can't get that Energy back. That's fine. I only need three this turn. Yeah, that's fair. I would love to play a Lysander again, but... I mean, you could, but you can't. Then I wouldn't get the Energy, yeah. Right. And I discourage you two, get up to four, but can only get three. Mm -hmm. Black Ballista. Yeah, very powerful. Very powerful card. Yeah, just one shot's anything, basically. Yeah, so now. In this format, I should say. Yeah, I don't remember. Because there's no Waylord yet, is there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now. Tricky spot here for me. I have to somehow knock out this Black Kyurem. But Hunter, how can you knock out Black Kyurem when Megalocan only does 100? Verizian doesn't do enough. Well, I think this is the turn I do it, if I remember correctly. Uh -huh. Yep, gotta play the Skyla. Find the trainer card we need. And hope it's not prized. Nice. And there it is. It's the G-Booster. And that, for three energy, does 200 damage and discard two energy attached to this Pokemon. Uh-huh. And that the is... attack's damage isn't affected by any effects in the defending Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so you can hit through, like, safeguards and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, you can hit through, I think, Suicune, and wasn't there enough? There was, like, a couple of other Pokemon that had... Yeah, so like, protection from special energy, probably. Yeah, I know that was Age of Slash, but I think that was a little bit later. Uh -huh. So attach return because I'm discarding two energy this turn from the Genesect. And yeah, we're going to G-Booster. Yeah, so we're just both doing 200 damage to each other. <laughs> yeah, we're just trading blows at this uh, point. Isn't this format fun? Yeah. Okay, so I got a Black Caram off the prizes and I'm going to Dowsing Machine. Discard two cards from my hand to put a trainer card from my discard pile into my hand. Draw. So I have four. Discard two of those. I discarded three accidentally because I forgot that Electro has one retreat cost, not free. Okay. 
Oh, I have the M in my hand as well. So, okay, hold on. We'll back it up a second. Yeah, we will. We will figure uh, this out. So attach return. There, I have three waters in my hand. Okay, okay I did that already. Deluged. Okay, I'm gonna swap the superior energy retrieval discard, and then I'm going to supporter return Skyla. I'm actually get the professor's letter, right? Or a switch? Yep, there's a letter in there okay. for a water energy. This has to be a water because I have to deluge again. Yep. And I can retreat. And it's black bullet. Yeah, very s short and sweet game. Uh huh. It's it's a pretty short game when all you're doing is just taking just knockout, knockout, yep. knockout. Two knock prize knock knockouts out. against everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That was a fun format. That was a fun game. It's Short yeah. and to the point. Didn't even talk about my other black Kieran that's in there. One prizer. All it does is 100 for four, really. That's, that's uh -huh. okay. Just a cool little single prize attacker. Yeah. They can go back to the beginning of the video. Uh huh. The, the, the lists are there. But anyhow, that'll do it for this video, everyone. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, and be sure to join us for some more awesome perks right here on Mount Moon TCG.